Hello dear students, let us discuss another question. This is uh, brain teasers, question number 2. Find the square root of 10 correct to 4 decimal places. Now observe that how I have written this number 10. So 10 has been written as 10 decimal followed by 5 pairs of zeros. Why I have done this? Because we need to find correct to 4 decimal places. For that, we first find the square root up to 5 decimal places and then we will round off the last digit of the quotient. So, let us first start the division process and before that, we are going to mark the period. So, this is the integral part. You know that for the integral part, we start marking the periods from the unit digit. So, here only two digit number is there. So, there is one period which is 10. Now, after the decimal part, we start marking the period from left to right. So, let us mark. Yes. So, you can see that we have marked the periods now. After that, we are going to start the process of long division. So, here we have 10. So, we say that 3 3s are 9. So, 10 minus 9 that is 1. Now we see a decimal sign. So we put this decimal in the quotient and we bring down the next period which is a pair of zeros. So here we have 100. So let us see what will be the next divisor. So we write 3 plus 3 that is 6 and we need to think of a digit over here which makes this number a two digit number which will be multiplied with the same digit which we are going to put in the quotient after the decimal sign so that the product of these is less than 100. So we see that 61 multiplied by 1 gives us 61 because when you do 60 multiply, 62 multiplied by 2 it gives us 124 and this 124 will be more than 100. So we have taken 1 over here. So, 61 into 1 is 61. So, now 100 minus 61 is 39. And we bring down the next period which is a pair of zeros. Let us see what will be the next divisor. So, 61 plus 1 is 62. And we have to think of a digit here so that it gives us a 3 digit number which will be multiplied by the same digit which we are going to put in the quotient. So, and the product of these two should be less than 3900. So, 626 into 6. It has to be just less than 3900, okay? If you think uh, like here 5 can come, okay? But uh, the product has to be just less than 3900. So, 626 into 6, that uh, gives us... 3756. Now we subtract this number from 3900. That gives us 144. And we bring down the next pair of 0. What will be the next divisor? Yes, quickly tell me. 626 plus 6. That gives us 632. Now think of a digit here so that we get a 4 digit number. Yes, it is 2. So, 6322 into 2. 6322 multiplied by 2 gives us 12644 which is just less than 14400. Subtract this number from 14400 that gives us 1756. Bring down the next period which is a pair of 0. Now, let us see what will be the divisor. It will be 6, 3, 2, 4 and a digit which has to come here which will be multiplied by the same digit which we are going to put in the quotient and the product has to be less than 1,75,600. Okay, so this is 63,242 multiplied by 2. That gives us 1,26,484. So, subtract this uh, from uh, 1,75,600. 
and here we are getting 49,116. So bring down the last pair of zero and let us see what will be the divisor. So add two to the previous one, previous divisor. So this gives us 63244 and we need to think of a digit here which we are going to put in the quotient also. So here it is 7. So we get the product as 4427129 and uh, when we subtract we get 484471. Right. So now observe the quotient. We have consumed all pairs of zeros which we had put here after the decimal sign. So here we notice that square root of 10 is equal to 3.16227. This is up to 5 decimal places. But we need to find the square root of 10 correct up to 4 decimal places. So what we will do? Observe the last digit of the quotient. So 7 is more than 5. So what we will do? We will add 1 to the previous digit. So this is equal to 3.1623. 3. How this 3 has come? We have added 1 to this digit 2. So 3.1623. 3 is square root of 10 and in the bracket you write down correct up to 4 decimal places. I hope this question is clear to all of you. So practice this one. Bye bye. Take care.